Hi everyone, my name is Peter and in this video we're going to be taking our first look at Google Vids, which is the first Google Workspace app that has been launched in a number of years. So as its name suggests, Google Vids is all about creating video content. But what's interesting about Google Vids is it's also AI powered. So it makes use of Gemini to help create video content for you and speed up that whole process. So Google Vids is currently in early access, which means it's still in the testing phase and is only available to trusted testers through the Google Workspace Labs program. Now Google Workspace Labs is a program that's been around for a while and lets you test a variety of Google's AI tools. Unfortunately, this program is invite only. But to check if you have access to Workspace Labs features, simply open a Google Doc and if on the left you see the help me write symbol, then you have access to Workspace Labs. Okay, let's get started and take a closer look at Google Vids. When you first go to Vids, you get taken to this interface where you can choose how you want to start creating your video. We've got a few options here to choose from. So the default option, if you have access to Gemini, you will be able to create a video from a prompt you also have access to templates. So we've got a wide range of templates we can choose from here, from different industries and sectors. We can start from a recording. So this could be a screen recording uh, or a recording of your webcam. Or you could start from an upload. So you could upload a video, GIF or an image and use that to start creating your video. But let's go back to Help Me Create and use the Google Gemini AI to help get our video started for us. To start creating with Gemini, we need to describe our video in a few sentences. We've got some examples here of types of prompts which we could use to start our video. So a few examples here from quarterly team offsite meeting, uh, creating a marketing team video about our roadmap or pitching a video about seasonal toppings for our pizza delivery. But I'm going to create a, a custom one here. So let's start with creating a video about cybersecurity training for staff at our school. So let's start with this and describe cybersecurity training for school staff. And let's press next. Now Gemini will go and create an outline for our video. And this is fully editable, so we can make changes to these sections. We can add new sections or we can delete sections. Uh, but let's just go over the defaults here. It looks pretty good. It's included the key information I'd expect to see about cybersecurity, such as phishing attacks, social engineering, creating strong passwords and so on. So let's press next. And here we can select what template we want to use. So we've got a few template options here. I quite like this one. So let's go with this. We can choose uh, a preview design as well. So we can see what design is going to look like. And let's create the draft video. So this normally takes just a few moments. It's actually surprisingly quick. Okay, and now we have our video. So we're taken to an interface, which I think looks very similar to Google Slides. You've got your main editor window here where you can adjust your text, images, and so on. Rather than slides down the left-hand side, we've got scenes which go across the bottom of our screen. You can also see here we've also got a music track already automatically added to our video. And we have a nice thing about using Gemini to create your video rather than one of the built-in templates is Gemini will also generate a transcript for us as well. So as we click through these different scenes, the transcript will update on the right hand side there, and we can use that when recording our video. Now one of the features which has been announced but isn't available in our version of Google Vids yet, is you will actually be able to have Gemini record the video voiceover for you, rather than having to do it yourself, but right now we just have the option to record with a teleprompter. So if I select this option, I get taken to this screen where I can either record with my camera, camera and screen, or just audio only. And then we can select how we want the teleprompter to be displayed. We can adjust the text size and how the teleprompter will function. 
So I think Google Vids and Gemini has actually done a pretty good job of pulling a video together here. So as you can see, as we go through this video, it's pulled in different stock footage for us. Now we can adjust this footage as well. So we have the option here of bringing in different stock media. So this could be other videos, uh, images, GIFs, web, web images, and so on. Alternatively, we could bring in our own recording or import our own media. As well as stock media, we also have access to some other options on the right hand side here. So starting from the top, if you have Google Vids with a Gemini license, just like in Google Slides, you can ask Vids to create a image for you based on a prompt. We can select other templates from here as well. So those templates we saw earlier, we can also customize our video using these templates from here. I can bring in media from my Google Drive and from Google Photos. Uh, the stock media we just took a look at. We can insert text boxes from here and shapes and also recordings as well. So this could be a recording again of our video. It could be camera and screen or audio. Also worth noting down the bottom here, so we've got the option of changing the transition between our slides. So just like in Google Slides, we can change the transition between our scenes uh, in Google Vids. And then down the very bottom, we've got a soundtrack. And of course, this is customizable as well. So we can select our sound option here. We can adjust the volume. We can fade in and out. And if I right click the audio, I've got some extra options here. So I can duplicate this audio track. I can split the audio or adjust the audio timing and so on. As it's a Google Workspace app, just like in Docs, Sheets and Slides, you can share your vids with other Google Workspace users as well. Just simply press the share button and then you can invite other users to work with you on your Google vids. And then once we've finished editing our video, we can play it back and see how it's going to look. So let's do that now. Let's go back to the beginning. But once we've finished editing our video, then we can press the play button and take a look at what that's going to look like before we share it with others. So I think Google Vids has actually done a pretty good job here of using Gemini to create our storyboard and script for us. It's pulled in some useful stock media, again, which we can customize with our own images or our own choices using the stock media available. And then once we're happy with our video, we can either share it with other users or we can go to file and download that as an MP4. Now, hoping that one day in the future, we might have an export to YouTube option so we can export directly to YouTube. That would be a nice feature, especially as Google does own YouTube. So you've got to think that's got to be possible. But for the time being, we can simply just download that as an MP4 and then take it to YouTube or another video platform of our choice. Okay, that's just one example. Let's now go back and make another video from a different prompt from a teacher's point of view. So let's do that now. So I'm gonna to go to File, New Video, and now, just like before, we need to enter a prompt. So the description of what we want to create. So in this case, I'm going to adopt a persona of a teacher and create a video about photosynthesis for my students who are aged nine to 10. Uh, like earlier, we can also, again, use the at symbol if we want to and put in files from my Google Drive, which I think is a really neat feature. So let's go over next and see what vids put together this time. Great, so I think it's done a pretty good job here of the story outline of what we want to create. Let's go to next. And this time, let's go with this template and create our video now. Perfect, so Google Vids and Gemini has created a video for us again. And I think it's done a fairly good job. It's pulled in different stock media for us. Also, just as before, over the right hand side, we have our script and it's pulled in all the key facts for us about photosynthesis. Now, of course, we can expand this and customize this at the end of the day, just like all Google products and how AI is implemented. The teacher, the user is in full control. So you've got control over what you want displayed uh, and you can customize this. And I think it's done a fairly good job. And now I'll leave you with our video about photosynthesis, which we've created using Google Vids combined with Gemini. Thanks for watching.